Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going back to the ExoStars EX stage and getting all missions with a cheaper clear. Uh, we're going to be using the free unit Riser to solo DPS. Um, Seador will be our cover tank with resist buff. We're going to use Noctis just for his sword and peril. That's all he's really here for. And then Harv is going to be just a breaker. You can replace him with any breaker you want. Uh, just make sure your support units have a way to chain together so we can cap Riser. So we're going to go in here and get a clear, and then I'll show the team and explain the gear afterwards. Uh, this boss does magical dark damage, um, and all the bosses do uh, fixed damage every single turn. Um, there's the 8,000 fixed damage. It's during the ambush as well as every single turn. Um, so we're going to use Seador to cover physical with evasion. Whoops. Cover physical, and we're going to do a dark resist buff. It also imbues the party with holy. Uh, we're going to use riser to focus. We're going to dual cast cura from the carbuncle esper on hard and just heal the party. And Noctis will just do his LB to sword and peril. All right, so the boss is going to do dark damage. We're immune thanks to Seodor's buff. Um. He does physical damage as well, and then the fixed attack uh, will always hit your party, but it does 8,000 exact damage. Uh, so we can just repeat these two, repeat this, and we'll just put Noctis on imperiling the boss and trying to get some crystal drops for Harv. Alright, we want to get Harv's LB by the uh, fourth turn if possible. There's the dark damage, there's the fixed damage, no big deal. Just repeat. Uh, yeah, you want to focus Riser four turns and then use his normal attack on the fifth turn. Alright. Yeah, the boss does double fixed every now and then, which is fine. Um, so now we're going to do Harv's LB to break the boss. Focus. We can just do a normal. And then um, we're going to heal the party with Seador because we used harp that turn to break okay so it's been it's been four turns we're gonna now use the powered up normal attack of riser to cap the boss so we'll just uh let's see we'll use seador to do a bigger dark or bigger light in peril and then we're gonna do quad cast uh chaos wave awakened with Harv and Noctis. Noctis is using the Irony's ring and then Harv has it naturally. And we're going to normal attack with Riser. Now Riser, because he focused, his attack power is astronomical. So let's go ahead and chain and then cap. Um, and while attacking, if you look at Riser, if I can click him, there it is. Uh, yeah, 263,000 attack power. Yeah, you, it's hard to see, but if you look, look behind the attack power symbol, there's actually a 2 there. He's got 263,000 263, focused attack power. So his normal attack is doing pretty big damage. Yes. And we're quad attacking with the, um, the Aurora Scarf and dual wield. So big damage with Riser. Anyway, ambush 8,000 damage. Oh, we didn't heal last turn, but we have enough hit points to survive it, so it's fine. Uh, we're going to use... Seador to cover and imbue the party. We're going to start focusing again. Um, we're going to use Harv to dual cast Cura. And the reason Cura is doing so much healing is because of um, Barbaricious TMR. And then Noctis is going to give us Calamity Border for light resist buff. Unfortunately, Seador does not buff light resist, so we're going to use Calamity Border plus at least 60% from gear. Okay, now we're going to use. Uh, an LB right there. Let's see. Um, focus. Do this. And then repeat Seador. Okay. Uh, focus. Let's see. Heal. Um, this turn, we're going to use Seador to, let's see, cover and do a slightly better imperil. Um, Noctis will, um, Calamity Border. How long does that Imperil last on Seador? Three turns? That's fine. 
Okay, so this turn the boss does Mirage. We're going to use Seador to light resist from an Esper. We're going to use Noctis to just dual wield attack. We're going to break with Carve and Focus. All right, so I couldn't fit enough Aqua Killer for this guy. He's human plus Aqua, so we're not going to one-shot this guy. We're going to have to go two cycles, which is fine. That's gravity damage. It can't kill you. Don't worry about it. Um, let's go ahead and dual cast Cura. And then we're going to cap. So let's go ahead and quad Chaos Wave Awakened. Quad Chaos Wave Awakened. And cap. So... And quad attack. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't fit I couldn't fit enough killers for Aqua. Big sad. Oh well. Not that big a deal. Alright, let's put Noctis on Calamity Border. Let's put Harv back on Cura. So we're gonna have to go through another cycle. Let's focus again on Riser. And we will let's see, go back to cover and light in view with Seador. All right, let's LB there. Repeat this. I think this turn the boss is gonna do his, um, yeah, the, the Mirage, no big deal. Let's light resist with you. Let's do that. We'll do your LB now to get it out of the way and then focus again. All right, that gets rid of the Mirage. And there's gravity. So we didn't focus all the way on Riser. We should technically focus one more turn, but I, I, I think we're fine. We're powered up enough to finish off this guy. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's heal with um, Seador before we go to the next fight. There's one more fight coming after this one. Your knees ring. Yeah, as you see, we're doing a lot less damage. We didn't focus all the way. Because of the way the attack formula works, um, the higher your attack power, the more, you know, dramatic the damage increase is. Uh, so not focusing all four times is a huge damage loss, but um, it was enough. Anyway, this guy's bird. Here's the ambush damage. We're going to go back to focusing. See a door. Um, this one does ailments, so but he does dark damage. So we're going to um, cover and dark resist. Let's use Harv to cure. We can just go ahead and put up a sword in peril right now. Okay. Uh, the boss does again either physical damage, dark damage, or status effects. But we're all wearing status immunity, so it's fine. Do this, and we'll just put you on sword in per or light in peril. We actually don't, don't even need light in peril with Noctis. There's the confusion that I mentioned earlier. Um, we'll actually have him do a... Light in Peril that turn. Alright. Here we go, not a problem. Alright, let's break with Harv. Guard you. Focus you. Um... We don't really need healing, honestly. I guess we'll do it anyway. We'll be safe. Let's heal with Seador. Alright. Some damage. Alright, let's go ahead and cap the guy. Uh, now, we, this one we're probably not going to one-shot either. He's really bulky. But we do have max killers for bird and human, so maybe? Depends on variance, I guess. We'll see. Uh, normal attack. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, we're not gonna cap. Oh well, one more cycle, and then we'll have all missions complete on this. All right, so let's put you back to cover and dark resist. Focus. Um, back to dual cast Curega or Cura. Yeah, Barbarish's TMR um, gives a 5x modifier to all magic in the game. You can stack it. Uh, so we're, we're wearing multiple copies of Barbarish's TMR on Harv. 
which allows us to use just the regular old Cura spell from Carbuncle and deal a ton of healing. Uh, we can just use your LB here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the uh, Hard's LB breaks the same whether it's SOB or regular LB. And then the SOB will fill it back up for me. Alright. So, uh, let's see. Dual cast Cura. Okay, and we'll finish off the sky next turn. I didn't actually imperil yet, but I'll do that with Theodore. Now, normally I would, you know, heal the team and all, but we don't need it because we're about to win right here. So let's imperil. Let's quad Darka. And we're going to quad Darka. Wait for this to finish. I don't want to break the chain. Okay, chain this. Tap. And there it is. All missions on the boss rush. Four turns, no deaths, no continues. No, I'm sorry, uh, four units. Four units, no deaths, no continues. Or is it no items? I'm not entirely sure. It's one of them. But we did all the missions in any case. And as you can see, we carried that pretty hard with Riser. Okay, let's show the gear and explain the builds. Okay, so we're on Alexander with Theodore, so we can do a light resist buff to help out with the second fight. Other than that, he is full um, status immunity. Um, technically, we only needed zero or better dark and then 60 or better light. I geared him for immunity because he gears for it really easily. He's full evasion. Um, he also has uh, dual cast naturally. He's wearing three copies of Barbaricious TMR, so his cure spell heals a ton. Uh, mana reduction. Um, that's pretty much it. He does physical cover, uh, light imbue. Um, this imbues light to the party and gives us 100% dark resist. He also did a 130 light imperil some turns. And then he had physical cover. And his physical cover is, um, is a 100% chance. So it'll never fail, which is why it's really, really nice when you're using Seador. Um, yeah, you can replace him with, like, uh, Warrior of Light is almost the same thing. Warrior of Light can do Curega as well as resist buffs and, um, all that. Uh, Seedor does it a little bit better, though. Uh, we'll come back to Riser. Noctis, literally his, his only purpose here was Sword and Peril. It just, it just boosted Riser's damage. You could also, you could replace him with anyone to, like, buff killers or just, you know, an actual DPS if you want. Uh, but anyway, he's wearing status immunity, light, and dark resist. And again, you don't need this much. Um, all you needed was 60. Well, basically, you need 100% after buffs. So whatever buffs you're using after 100%. Um, Irony's Ring, he's on Anima. And Anima gives Dark a spell to chain with Harv. Uh, and then he's using Calamity Border for the first turn of um, the second fight where Seedor is busy putting up cover. Other than that, yeah, he just did uh, Sword and Barrel. Uh, Harv was our breaker. He does um, uh, his. Whoops. Harv's uh, LB and SOB. That oh, doesn't show it. Oh, I'm, I'm showing it wrong. Never mind. Hold on one second. There we go. His LB is um, an 87 to all break. It does more, but he doesn't actually imperil light element, so all that really mattered was an 87% break. Um, he has quad cast and he has dark a spell, so he quad cast a dark to chain cast with awakened. Uh, and again, he's using Barbaricious TMR and he's on, he's on Carbuncle for the Cure spell. And then even though Cura is only a 3x modifier, when you're using lots of Barbaricious TMRs, it becomes a full heal, basically. And we dual casted it. Um, and yeah, he was the breaker and support chainer with, uh, again, too much resist. But anyway, back to Riser, who was on Bayomet for multiple killers. Uh, all three of the bosses are human, but they're all split race. The first one is human machine, the second one is human aqua, and the third one is human, human bird. So, we've got for killers, uh, maxed out bird, maxed out human, 250 machine, and 250 aqua. Um, we are using a weapon that enables uh, quad attack. This is, this is the plus one attack weapon. You can use you know, I I any weapon you want that does plus attack. Um, and then we're using a sword that gives machine killers for extra killers. Uh, his attack power is irrelevant. 
uh, a, the gear attack power. You can you can give him all healer gear. It doesn't matter. All of his power comes from the focus skill. So make sure he's make sure he is door potted to um, to attack power. That's all that matters though. Is his base attack. His gear attack is completely and entirely irrelevant. Load him up with killers. Load him up with quad attack. That's all that matters. Um, anyway, status immunity. Uh, we're getting 50 aqua killer from Prim's dress. Some human killer from this. I'm not sure what it's called. The dragon seal. Uh, go away. Uh, we're using 50 human and 50 machine from the the Xeno Gears badge. Uh, we've got 75 human, 75 bird from Furion's TMR. Um, 50 aqua from Prim's TMR. Uh, 75 bird from the trial reward and then some light resist and again all he needs is all the whole party needs is zero or better dark and 60 or better light and then the card we're using is um, an attack power card uh, the highest base attack power you can get I'm using a premium card but uh, you know any card is fine Just, all that matters is base stats so 125 is really good for that and yet, yeah, focus four times, normal attack, cap it. Um, with quad attack, his normal attack is pretty slow, but a quad cast of Cast Wave Awakened will cap all four hits. Okay, see you next time.